Alan Tryon today. I'm always glad when we can have a visit from some of the good folks at Cross North School and Children's Home. They do such a fine job and service in the community and caring for kids. Uh, we have a very special guest to help us uh, talk about a trauma and trauma resilience and a big event that's coming up. Let's do that all right now with our special guest. Marnie Eisner is Director of Business Development for the Center for Trauma Resilient Communities at Cross North School and Children's Home. Welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Explain to me what the Center for Trauma Resilient Communities is all about and what's the mission? So the mission of the center is to help organizations and communities embed and embody the science of trauma resilience. And it was created by Cross North School and Children's Home about 18 months ago because they've been a certified trauma responsive organization for over 10 years. And what do we mean? I don't mean to interrupt you. We'll no, come that's back okay. To I'm just curious, just so we all understand, what do you mean when you say trauma resilience or even what do you mean by trauma when, when you're bringing in kids who have lost parents maybe to through death through drug abuse through whatever and you're looking after these kids um, what, what do you mean trauma so when we think about trauma we think of some of the adverse childhood experiences that children are being exposed to and you've mentioned several of them death of a parent it also could include a parent in prison alcoholism mental health um, substance abuse, but we also look at kind of the community adverse experiences that a lot of our children coming through foster care are exposed to, and that would be poverty, violence, food scarcity. So our children are really experiencing a lot, and it's important that you have that lens for how you care for them. And of course, uh, people who have driven by, there are a couple of locations of, of Cross North, one out west, uh, western part of the state, but for here locally in this area, you probably pass by it on the mm -hmm. Renolda Road beautiful yeah. campus um, and uh, of course you you house and and they're in residence are a number of, of kids yes and but you also try to get people uh, to become foster parents and there's an education process to that yes uh, do you share thoughts with uh, prospective parents about trauma absolutely I mean it's a critical part of the training that we do with foster parents but we also think it's a critical part for any organization, whether it's a school or a domestic violence shelter or um, any kind of human services organization dealing with children and family. Having that lens, the trauma lens, is very critical to just getting better outcomes. There's a big event coming up, and I want to talk about that now. In fact, it might be a good time to put some information up on screen just so sure. we don't let time run away from us. <laughs> Up on screen, from info to action, Thursday, October 17th, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. at Wesley Chapel, uh, across our school and children's home campus. Now, now that I've said that, what is this all going to be about? Well, so I think currently in the field of human services and educational services, everybody's talking about trauma. But it's really hard to take that information and turn it into practices and policies and tools that actually change your practices on a daily basis, and so that's what we're trying to help people. How do you take that information, how do you embed and embody, in it, embody it, excuse me, and actually do things differently so that you're doing things better for the families so and children? So this is an all-day thing, it's very yes. enlightening. Uh, what, I mean, who should come to this? We would love to have anyone, a teacher, guidance counselor, a nurse, um, people who work at domestic violence shelters, people who work in even homeless community. I mean, it's really applicable to so many people across the health and human services field. Right. And just could be really educational. Because again, I think a lot of people know the information about adverse childhood experiences, but don't know how to apply it to their job every day. Absolutely. And uh, of course, there's a fee for this. So I want you to go online to crossnor.org and you can get in touch with the folks about that. Again, it's on Thursday, October 17th at uh, Cross North's campus uh, from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Um, I just think this is great that you're, you're making this information available to people, and I appreciate all you do 24-7 as well. So thank thanks, you Marty. so much. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. We'll be right back after this.